Yep. And that's where I saw it. So I've put the chickens back in the coop. Hopefully it's getting around still. Yeah, it's whip snakes can be fast little things. It could be next door. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was thinking with where it is this type of day, yeah, I was leaning more towards, yeah, whip snake or something. Because I have so, to get rid of all that excess straw. Was it behind home. this tin, was it? It was in this section, yeah. I guess just, yeah, show us where you saw it and hopefully it's just gone back. If it wasn't too disturbed, it might just be... Oh my God, but there it's could be others. A, there could be, whip snakes can be communal. Um, that's why it'd be nice to... So, that was the tin that I moved back to put across the... And it slid from, from... From this exact one? No, from here. It okay. Here. Yep. And went this way? Yeah, and I moved the tin to put over there. To put it in there. And then it slid, slivered behind? Slivered up there. Up there. In that area. Okay. Do you not wear gloves or anything? Nah, gloves make it worse. Much worse. You want to be able to feel the snake properly and make sure you've got total control of it. I'm sorry, but I'm out of here. That's okay, I'll let you know. If I find anything, but um, mate, yeah, it's probably gone for. I will search around everywhere for you. you. I've got a feeling because there's gaps under here that it's, it's gone in that direction. Yeah. Uh, there it is. Oh, there you are. Whoa. Yeah, I got him. I just get him over to my bag. So, do you want a good look? I'm just going to sit this camera down here. Don't you buddy get excited, Snake. Okay. Hey, mate. Hey, hey, you all right, buddy? Settle down, settle down. It's perfectly safe if you want me to show you properly. So you can... It is perfectly safe if you want me to show you. Um, so you can identify them. But yeah, you were right with that... The olive green head, how that changes colour. Everything you were describing was very characteristic of the whip snake. Yeah. Um, oh, he's biting the bag. He's not happy about that. I don't want to come near it. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Hopefully he just goes in the bag on his own. You're going to go in the bag or, you know, you're going to give it a nip. Come on, just get in the bag, matey. It's like a little cave that's safe. Oh. Here. I'll just have to drop him in, I think. Because he's getting a bit excited, this one. And there you go, mate. Well, where, where did it bite on you on the finger? Yeah. Each time's been on the hand, but different hands. What and, sort of snake was it? Then? Oh, this one, the same one, the yellow face whip snake. Yeah. So the very first time, my hand swelled up like mad, right in the bag there. The second time was just a little hatchling, and nothing really happened. But I thought it's just a hatchling. And then just recently, an adult bit me three or four times on the finger, and it, yeah, it was just not much more than just a tingle. So, mm. um, but. It's a venomous snake, so our recommendation to people is if you're ever bitten by any venomous snake, just go to the hospital and be sure, because, you know, if you have a reaction. But with these guys, see the... He's got beautiful colours on the side. He's got some nice oranges and greys, black on each scale. Um, but the, the eyes, see how he's got those yellow mm. marks around the eyes and that big black, almost teardroppy sort of thing? Mm-hmm. I should have set the camera up. Ah. Nah, I shouldn't have because every time I do, nothing happens. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> I'd rather catch it and not get it on video. But yeah. I've still got some good photos with him. Like this bite in the he's bag. Big, yeah, he's got a big mouth. And that, yeah, he does. 